I'm here with my buddy Doug Adino. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Doug Adino? I'm doing good. Kyle Do Rapport, how are you? Doing good. That's good. Well, yeah, it's it's good to see you back in the videos again. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good. How, what have you been up to? Just uh, you know, hanging out recently. Just trying to you know get back to things but you're back to things and um so uh we're here to do another movie review and we just got done see we got out of the movie theater seeing um uh what was the movie it's a movie called megan megan a new horror film we're here to review um so uh this is the first movie review of 2023 by the way uh brandon you, you, how was your new year's but well yeah we we, we saw each other on new year's but yeah. we don't let's not talk about that because we did a little oh yeah oh, we did, uh, yeah, yeah. A, little. a little a little, well, a little a little bit of uh, partying. Oh, you yeah, know, we don't need to discuss that. But uh, we don't really drink too often. On we don't drink too often. But we went to a friend's house and we just did some, you know, like we just did a little like get together. We didn't do too much for New Year's and Christmas. Well, mm -hmm. I should talk about Christmas first before New Year's. Mm -hmm. But uh, Christmas, well, how, how was your Christmas and holidays and everything? It was okay. I just like you know, kind of just hung out and enjoyed the. Yeah, you Always. got any good gifts? I got you some good gifts this year, right? We you got some did, good gifts yeah. this year, yeah. Definitely. Last year, I mean, last year. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good holiday. Um, now it's gonna be a good, good new year. Got a fresh new start. Um, I just did a video recently um, at the at, at uh, the Fleet Middletown Flea Market. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put like underneath this video. I don't know if that's gonna be uploaded after this or before this, but um, I went to a flea market. I was gonna I was gonna ask. I wanted to you to come, but uh, you you uh, I was you know I, you know I just did it you know at last minute you know. Right, but, yeah, no, uh, it's all good. Yeah, I was thinking we can go to another flea market, you know. Yeah, definitely. Or a record store. We can do something like that maybe sometime during the week. But anyways, let's get to down to the review. Um, we got just got done seeing Megan. Uh, is it Megan 3? How you say it? Like, it's just Megan. Just Megan, horror film. Yeah. And Megan, a horror film by... Who was it directed by? I don't even know who directed the movie. I don't know honestly. who directed the movie either. Yeah. But, um... And, um, so it's, what'd you think of it? I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, it was, it was a fun movie. Fun movie, fun right? Fun little horror, sci-fi movie. It's a PG-13 movie, so it doesn't have, well, it has blood in it, but not, like, tons and tons of blood. Like, it had good amount, it had a good amount, actually. For a PG-13 movie, this was actually pretty... Pretty wild, pretty wild for a PG-13 movie. You know, I, I thought it was really good, you know, like, for gore wise, it was amazing. Like I, you know, and the yeah. what you think of like the 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 robotic and like the the, the uh, you know the, like the robot and like what does this movie remind you of? Well, I what does it remind me of? Like what, what movie? If kinda, I could like if I could think of something, I would say like something like Chucky, like the like the one where he's like a robot and the oh yeah the remake. But this was yeah the, the Child's Play remake. You know the two thousand was it two thousand thirteen? I think so. No, two thousand nineteen Some, or something like that. Something I don't remember. I saw it with my ex recently. I saw it with my ex, mm. but she's not part of the videos anymore. So mm. now you and Mark are gonna be the new, you know, part of my videos now. All right, awesome. Um but uh it's like the old school we're gonna take it back old school but um yeah i'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry if i'm looking like this like i'm looking worried because it's about to rain but yeah, it's very windy very windy but um so the th theater was very packed we went to regal cinema and the theater was very packed a lot of the one thing i'll say that i don't know why there were so many people at this theater at this theater today there was a lot of people talking. It's so, a movie, I think. so many people talking throughout the movie, like little kids talking. There was so many like people in the theater. I had to, and I missed some of the movie. I missed some of the movie in the, in, in the theater. 
So mm-hmm. like in the, I miss half the movie. Like like only like the like the the best bits of the movie I missed. Yeah. Some like three like three bits of the movie I missed that were really good. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to spoil them if you haven't seen it. But uh, let's talk about the synopsis of the film. Uh, why don't you give the synopsis, Doug? Well, it's about a um, a company that creates a robotic doll named Megan, obviously. Yeah. Um, for this uh, this mother this child. It's supposed to be like a companion for her, and uh, it, it this robot knows like everything there is, and it's supposed to like you know be her friend and an ally and take care of her and mm-hmm. and nurture her. But you know she kind of turns out to be, I guess I don't know, kind of evil. Yeah, <laughs> and, evil and satanic. Yeah. So and yeah, it's crazy stuff that happens in this movie. Yeah, she kind of it's pr- pretty cool. I love the special effects. There's creepy parts to it. You know, mm-hmm. some pretty good gore. Um, so not not too much gore. Well, like I, I said, PG thirteen gore, but it actually was pretty violent for a PG thirteen movie. It could have been like yeah. almost R, you know. Um, this was like it was comical. Like there was comedy in it. It was kind of like a horror comedy. There was there's a part when she dances and she does sing songs yeah. like lullabies and things. And it's like a real life person, like kind of like. Kind of remind me of that movie I Robot or like not I Robot. What's that movie? Um, that movie where where it's like the, the it's like the, the 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 doll is so lifelike. It's so like human like. Yeah. Like it looked like so much like a human. Like you know what's that movie where they did something like that? Uh, what there's a movie called Wife Like. If you guys haven't seen that movie, I never I never saw that movie. What's but it the, called? Wife Like. Wife Like. It's a thriller movie. Interesting. Did you ever see it? I, I I I never saw it, but I saw half of it. But it's like this robotic woman who is like you know like this guy who gets killed by this guy's wife gets killed in a car accident. So it's today she she gets killed somehow or some like in a car accident and they and they rebuild her rebuild like they make this like this woman that looks exactly like her wife. And some, I forget what it's, I don't know really too much about it, but they re- rebuild her and stuff, and like, she's like the, like the same woman again. But I, I really want to check it out, it looks really cool, it's called Wife Like, I, I, it looks pretty d- decent, but um, anyways, back to Megan, um, it's a, it's pretty decent, you know, I wouldn't say it's my top favorite of the mo- movies I've seen, um, but it, it does it does have some really good build up in s- inside of it and good comedy parts and like good horror s- scary image imagery in there. But um, what do you any take anything you would like to add to it? Um, no, I mean it, about Megan. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a great I, Megan I, Fox. Megan Fox. <laughs> Megan. Yeah, Megan. It was I. I thought it was a pretty solid movie. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I like again I say I, I like the special effects that they did with the robot and the, the silicone skin of her face you and everything. A second. And, yeah. I got to the slide keeps starting off. Okay. So what were you saying? No, I was saying that um I liked the uh the design of Megan and the way she looked and when she kinda like I don't wanna give too much away, but like when she comes apart you see some of the robotic stuff in her face and yeah. stuff. I, I thought that was pretty cool. That that like that like that the way that was built was very cool. I want to see like a making of that when I get yeah. when the Blu-ray comes out. Yeah. I'll probably buy this movie. You know, you know, I could see this for like a dollar in a Dollar Tree, or like or like Big Lots. But I would pay full price for this movie. You know, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not my top total favorite but uh, yeah, I, I like the robot like how it's you see like her her like you know like it kind of reminds me of Chucky a little bit like I would say more like the one the remake you know but better it's like the child's play remake but better than that yeah. you know like more like a uh, a better version of that now let's get down to the ratings well our ratings out of out of, t- out of 10 stars what would you give it um like a seven. Seven? Yeah, it was pretty... I thought it was a fun movie. A seven, eight. It was, it was pretty solid to me. Yeah, I would give it a... Like, probably... Seven, seven, seven out of ten. I would probably give it... You know, it's... It's it's good. It's good. Not totally ten out of ten. Um, I, I, I would... I would see it in a theater. Um, it's not, like, totally ten out of ten because... 
there's some stuff that was like a little weird in the movie because like there was some I don't know something was missing in the movie. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is, but there was just some weird things about it that I thought were like a little. I don't know. Maybe it's a te maybe some in your books it's a te everybody that's watch viewers that are watching is a ten out of ten, but I don't give it a solid ten out of ten for some reason because I like movies more like like you know like viol more violent and more like you know this is more like a like a comedy like you know like I can't explain it. What does it more like feel like to you? Like a little like campy -ish. a campy ish. Well I, well, I do like campy stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love Cannibal Camp Out. I love Via Violence. I love all that. You know, splatter. I like all that splat like splattery gore, uh, splatter farm. I like all st sort of like you know like I like you know eighties style campy stuff. Evil Dead. <coughs> I like that stuff. But th <coughs> this is a different type of campy where it's like so corny. Like some of the jokes are like in some of the like. The CGI was like a little bit. Some of the stuff of it was a little. How how do you explain it? Um, like <laughs> cheesy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some of it didn't mix well with the movie. Like I just thought it was a little like. Rep rep I I can't I can't explain it. What do you think? Like, not like it was just kind of like you know like what do you mean like bland. Bl Right, I know what you mean. Plan, like, like plan, like not like too much, like. Well, yeah, I think for what it was, it was good though. I think, I think it was pretty self. I think it was self-aware. Self-aware. Yeah, I feel like it like knew like the type of movie it was, like the. You know what I mean? Like, I think they knew what they were doing when they made it. I think it. they knew what they were doing, but it felt like more like an iRobot or like what's that movie with that with that that like. Bot, those like one of those bot movies, like you know those killer bot movies. Yeah. Like one of those killer bot movies. It felt like it felt like the, one of those killer robot movies. Right. And I'm not too crazy on killer robot movies, so that's what that's. I guess that's what it is. But it felt it was it was good, you know, for a killer robot movie, like a killer like you know animatronic movie. It's good. Yeah. But uh, seven out of ten, and you give it. Yeah, I would say like a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Pretty good. Definitely go see Megan in a the in theaters. It's only I think it's only in theaters now, so mm -hmm. definitely go see Megan, the new horror film. Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this movie that we did. Thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please rate, subscribe. Hit my 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 friend on Facebook. Uh, where, where where can they find you? Uh, I I. My special effects account on Instagram is uh, Darkwater Effects at Darkwater FX. Yeah. yeah, hit him up at Darkwater FX on Instagram. Uh, where, can they hit you? Up? Where else? Uh, Facebook or? I mean, yeah, you can hit me up on Facebook with Douglas Godino. Mm -hmm. Or where, where, where is it the best way to find you? Uh, Instagram, no, right? Probably Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, Darkwater Effects on Instagram and 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 uh, should we put your Facebook or no? You don't have to. I mean, you could look me up on Facebook. It's just my name. Yeah, so definitely check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Douglas Godino on Facebook and Instagram Dark Water Effects. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. I'll see you all next time. All right. Peace. Peace. <laughs>